Hey guys, Coach Sam here, and with Mel, we're gonna be bringing you a Greek salad. Now, this is a fantastic recipe. It can be used on its own as, um, as a light lunch, or it can even be used as like a, a side dish, which is the way we tend to, um, to use the, the Greek salad as a, as a side with a main bit of meat and maybe some, uh, some jack and potato on the side as well. So I know Mel's a big fan of this, uh, this recipe, aren't you? Yeah, I don't like leaves in a salad, I like a crunchy one, so this is a good one for me. Yeah, so this salad is very high in fiber, um, and it's, it's very tasty, very ref refreshing, especially when it's, uh, it's hot outside. Um, very popular in our household in the, uh, in the summer. It's a good one if you're entertaining as well, because it feels like you put a bit of effort in when you actually haven't, so I'll show you how easy this is now. Yeah, so the ingredients you need for this, uh, this recipe is uh, cucumber, uh, tomatoes, uh, mixed peppers, um, olives, and some, uh, some feta cheese. So the feta cheese that we use is, um, is this one. Okay, so it's the, it's the light version. So it is a little bit lower in, uh, in fat. So if you are you know, trying to lose body fat, you know, you've got body composition based goals, the feta cheese is, uh, is good. Now the important thing when you use cheese, whether you use the light version or not, is to, um, is to measure out your, your food. Okay, so we've got 30 grams of feta cheese in here, which is only around 60 calories. Um, and it gives you around six grams of protein. So although the, um, the Greek salad is, is very healthy, it's, it's not a lot of protein in it, okay? So this is why we tend to use it as a side dish with maybe chicken or some other form of um, higher protein foods. Okay, so um, yeah, over to Mel, and she's gonna prep the uh, Greek salad. So for this recipe, we are using three tomatoes, half a cucumber, two sweet peppers. I like to buy the salad peppers because they go a bit better. I've got 150 grams of olives. I like to use olives from the fresh section because they tend to come in a bit of olive oil, um, which goes nice in the salad. And then I've got 30 grams of feta. I like to buy the Apatina light feta. It's 50% reduced fat, better for the calories. And then I season it with a bit of salt, pepper, and some oregano as is the traditional Greek way, so I've been told. So let's just chop this and add it to our pasta dish. Sam knows I like my salad veg chopped in a very specific way, which is why I don't normally let him near the salad. So there we go guys, that's our uh, Greek salad. Um, really super simple to make. Obviously, like you said, like you, like you see Mel make, you've got the peppers, you've got the tomatoes, you've got the cucumbers. Uh, it's, this salad is leafless, there's no leaves at all, but there's nothing stopping you adding some lettuce or some spinach if you did, uh, did want to. And then you've got the feta and the, um, and the olives. In regards to my fitness pal, you know, what do you need to put in? The only things you really need to worry about putting in are the olives and the feta. You haven't really got to worry too much about putting on cucumber, in the cucumber, the tomatoes and the peppers, unless you want to, unless you're tracking um, all of these nutrients on an app like Chronometer, which would look at the antioxidant makeup for you. We do have some clients that like to do that, but that's people with more like pre-existing health conditions. I try and make it super easy for all my clients to track. So the only thing that I would put in in this uh, recipe is the feta and the olives and not worry about anything else. All right guys, any questions though, you can reach out to me and we can um, explain things a little bit better if you're unsure. All right, that's the uh, Greek salad.